morning students continuing with chapter 11 perimeter and area today we are going to see conversion of certain units you know that 1 meter is equal to 100 cm then 1 km is equal to 1000 m 1 cm is equal to 10 mm etc like that now these are the units related with area how to convert certain units that we can see in this section first one 1 cm square that we can write as 1 cm into 1 cm then cm into cm cm square but you know that 1 cm is equal to 10 mm isn't it so 10 mm into 10 mm will give you 100 mm square that means 1 cm square is equal to 100 mm square i have written it here 1 cm square is equal to 100 mm square now see how to convert meter square to centimeter square 1 meter square is equal to 1 meter in multiplied by 1 meter but 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so 100 cm multiplied by 100 cm will give you how much it is 10000 cm square now 1 meter square can be converted to millimeter square so how to convert that is 1 meter square we know that 1 meter into 1 meter but 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so 100 cm multiplied by 100 cm but 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so 100 cm will be 1000 mm multiplied by 1000 mm that's equal to 10 lakh mm square next 1 km square 1 km multiplied by 1 km but 1 km is equal to 1000 m so 1000 m multiplied by 1000 m that also is equal to 10 lakh m square and the unit of area that is hectare so 1 hectare is equal to 10000 m square so these are the important units so in brief i have written here so this you have to learn is very important for solving exercise 11.4 so you have to copy this to your notebook and learn it next we can solve exercise 11.4 which is based on certain applications you must have observed that in gardens or parks some space is left all around in the form of path or in between as cross path or otherwise a framed picture there is some space left all around it we need to find the areas of such pathways or borders when we want to find the cost of making them how it can be done that we are going to learn by solving exercise 11.4 get ready with your textbook exercise 11.4 which is in page 226 first question a garden is 90 meter long and 75 meter broad a path 5 meter wide is to be built outside and around it find the area of the path also find the area of the garden in hectare hectare we are seen now so in each and every question you have to draw a rough sketch or rough figure to be drawn then you will understand it so exercise 11.4 first question take your textbook now listen first what you will write is length of the garden what is given as length of garden 90 meter 
and breadth of the garden 75 meter so length and breadth of the garden given based on the given data you have to draw the rough figure and from that length and breadth we can find out area of the garden okay listen here what i explained i have shown here length of the garden then breadth of the garden as it is of rectangular shape area can be calculated using the formula l multiplied by b that is length into breadth 90 meter multiplied by 75 meter we got 6750 meter square and in question it is asked to convert that in hectare so we know that one hectare is equal to 10000 meter square so here the answer will be dividing by 10,000 will give you 0 0.675 hectare. See the figure that I have drawn. This is the rectangular garden. That is 90 meter length and 75 meter breadth. There is a 5 meter width. See that how it is shown outside. Outside the garden. There is a path of 5 meter width. This is the path. The width it is. 5 meter around the garden. Now we are having two rectangles. The in inner rectangle that is the garden but as the path is made an outer rectangle also we got. Now we have to find out the area of the outer rectangle. Then how to find out area of the path. This is the path. So this portion is the path. So area of the path will be equal to area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle. Now to find out area of the outer rectangle, we should know length of the outer rectangle and length of, sorry, breadth of the outer rectangle. What is the length of outer rectangle? See here, 5 meter width. This much length, it is 90 meter. So here also 5 here also 5. So the length of outer rectangle will be equal to 90 plus 5 plus 5. Same way breadth also can be calculated by adding 5 plus 5 to the breadth of the garden. So that will be the length of the uh, area or the length of the outer rectangle. Otherwise the length including the path that will also we can say. Now listen, width of the path 5 meter. Now length of the outer rectangle, as I told, 90 plus 5 plus 5 meter, that is 100 meter. Same way, breadth of the outer rectangle, here breadth it is 75, 75 plus 5 plus 5, so 85 meter. And we can find out area of the outer rectangle, length multiplied by breadth, 100 meter multiplied by 85 meter will give you 8500 meter square. Now we can find out area of the path. Area of the path, area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle. Area of the outer rectangle calculated as 8500 meter square minus 6750 meter square. So when you subtract you will get 1750 meter square that is the area of the path. I hope it's clear to you. Now question 2. A 3 meter wide path runs outside and around a rectangular path of length 125 meter and breadth 65 meter. Find area of the path. This is same as that of question number 1. We can see how to solve it. Okay. First, we will write length of rectangular path. So, I have drawn the figure here. Length of rectangular path, 125 meter. Then, breadth of rectangular path, 65 meter is shown in the figure. And now, we can find out area of the rectangular path. Length multiplied by breadth. That is equal to 125 meter multiplied by 65 meter. Multiply and find out the answer. Now, width of the path, how much it is given? It is 3 meter. It is outside the rectangular path. So, same way how we solved in the previous question, you have to add it with the length. So, length of the outer rectangle can be calculated by adding 3 plus 3 to 125 
and breadth can be calculated by adding 3 plus 3 to breadth that is 65 meter. Then you will get length and breadth of the outer rectangle. Then find out area of the outer rectangle. So area of the path will be equal to area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle. I will solve it now. So listen. Here we have calculated area of the rectangular path by multiplying 125 with 75. Then length width of the path given as 3 meter is equal to 3 meter. Therefore, length of the outer rectangle 125 plus 3 plus 3. So 131 meter. Breadth of outer rectangle 65 plus 3 plus 3, 71 meter. And area of outer rectangle L into B is equal to 131 meter multiplied by 71 meter. We got it as 9301 meter square. Now we can calculate area of the path. Area of the path is equal to area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle. That is equal to 9301 meter square minus 8125 meter square. When you subtract you will get 1176 meter square. That is the area of the path. Now question 3. A picture is painted on cardboard. 8 cm long and 5 cm wide such that there is a margin of 1.5 cm along each of its sides. Find the total area of the margin. So here the margin it is along each of its sides. So you have to find out area of the margin. Same method. First we will find out area of the cardboard. Then area along with the margin. Then we can find out area of the margin by subtracting. Now listen. Length of the cardboard it is 8 cm. Breadth or width it is 5 cm. So the margin it is of width 1.5 cm. Okay. Now we can find out area of the cardboard by multiplying the length with breadth which is 40 cm square. Now next take statement we will write width of the margin that is 1.5 cm. So width of the margin 1.5 cm. Now we can find out length of the inner rectangle. So this is the cardboard that is the outer rectangle is the cardboard. Now we will find out length of inner rectangle after leaving the margin. So length of inner rectangle can be calculated by subtracting 1.5 from each side. So that is 1.5 plus 1.5. That is total 3 cm from each. The length of the cardboard you will get length of the inner rectangle. Same way width also can be calculated by subtracting 1.5 cm plus 1.5 cm from 5 cm. So area of the outer inner rectangle can be calculated by multiplying length and breadth. So 8 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 that is 5 cm is the length and then 2 cm is the breadth. So area is equal to 10 cm square. Now area of this margin that is equal to area of outer rectangle minus area of inner rectangle. 40 cm square minus 10 cm square that is equal to 30 cm square. Now question 4. A veranda of width 2.25 meter is constructed all along outside a room which is 5.5 meter long and 4 meter wide. So length and breadth of the room is given and also width of the veranda also given. You are asked to find out area of the veranda and also Cost of cementing the floor of the veranda at the rate of rupees 200 per meter square. First, we will draw the rough figure. This is the rough figure. The room 5.5 meter length and 4 meter breadth. And veranda around the room 
of 2.25 meter width. First we will find out area of the room, then area of the room along with the veranda, then from the outer, that is outer rectangle. The area of outer rectangle minus area of inner rectangle will give you area of the veranda that we will solve. So statement, length of the room 5.5 meter, breadth or width 4 meter. Formula, length into breadth, you will get area of the room, 22 meter square. Now width of the veranda, 2.25 meter. As the veranda is all around the room, you have to add to get the length of the room along with the veranda. Length of the outer rectangle means length of the room along with the veranda, that is equal to 10 meter. Width of the room along with the veranda or width of the outer rectangle is equal to 8.5 meter. So, area of the room along with the veranda or area of the outer rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. 10 meter multiplied by 8.5 meter will give you 85 meter square. Now, area of the veranda. Area of the veranda is equal to area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle. That is equal to 85 meter square minus 22 meter square. That is equal to 63 meters square. Next, you have to find out the cost of cementing the floor of the veranda at the rate of 200 meter. To rupees, sorry, at the rate of rupees 200 per meter square. That means for 1 meter square of area, the cost it is rupees 200. Then you have to find out uh, cementing 63 meter square area of the veranda. Cost of cementing 1 meter square area of the floor of veranda rupees 200. Therefore, the total cost of cementing 63 meter square area rupees 200 multiplied by 63. 63 into 2, 126. Then two zeros. Answer will be rupees 12,600. Is that clear? Now, question 5. A path 1 meter wide is built along the border and inside a square garden of side 30 meter. Find area of the path, cost of planting grass in the remaining portion of the garden at the rate of rupees 40 per meter square. In all these sums, 1, 2, 3 and 4, the shape was rectangular. Here it's of square. So we can draw the rough figure first. Listen to the figure. A square garden of side 30 meter. And width of the path it is 1 meter. So first we can find out area of the square garden. Side of the square garden 30 meter. Area of the square garden. You know that area of the square it is side square. Side square that is 30 meter square. 30 meter the whole square that is equal to 900 meter square. Now, path is inside. So, side of the inner square is equal to from 30 you have to subtract. That is 30 minus 1 this side and minus 1 that side. So, it is 28 meter. So, breadth, sorry, side of the square garden it is 28 meter. Therefore, area of the inner square that is 28 square will give you 784 meters square. So the first question is how to find out area of the path. You have to find out area of the path. Area of the path is equal to area of the outer square minus area of the inner square. So area of the path 900 minus 784 meters square will give you 116 meters square. Now, what is the second question? The cost of planting ground in the remaining portion of the garden at the rate of rupees 40 per meter square. So, which is the remaining portion? The portion from which the path it is removed. So, this is the remaining portion. That means the inner square. So, first we should know the area of the inner square that we already calculated it is 784 meters square then 
cost of planting grass in 1 square meter area it is rupees 40. So we can calculate the total cost by multiplying 784 with rupees 40. So area of the remaining part of the garden told you is the area of the inner square. So that is 784 meters square. Cost of planting grass in one meter square area of the remaining part rupees 40. Therefore, the total cost of planting grass in 784 meter square area rupees 784 multiplied by 40. You will get 784 multiplied by 4, 3133. 10 added rupees 31,360 is the total cost. Today we have solved the first 5 sums of exercise 11.4. So practice these sums in your practice book and you have to solve all these sums in your notebook also. The remaining sums will be solved in the next video. Thank you.